Hi guys, it's Ben here, hope you're doing well. Now, if you saw a couple of days ago, if you're a Liverpool fan, you may well have seen on my channel, I did awards, the end of month awards for August for Liverpool only. Now it's time for the Premier League awards for the month of August. So we're still in the international break. It feels like this one's gone on for absolutely ages. I'm quite tired of it. To be honest, I've not really watched a single kick of it. I uh, saw a bit of the England game against Slovakia, only the first sort of half an hour of that. I got a bit bored. Uh, I've seen, obviously, Ben Woodburn's goal. I've seen bits and bobs, but I'm just itching for the Premier League to come back. I'm so excited for Man City versus Liverpool on Saturday. I think that's going to be such a great game. I'm actually quite confident as a Liverpool fan that we can go there and get a win. But just excited to see the Premier League come back as a whole. I think the first few weeks were pretty exciting. There's some great moments, some great goals, some great football, some great action, some great players. Let's give out the awards. So the five categories are exactly the same as I gave out in a Liverpool video a couple of days ago. We're looking at goal of the month, flop of the month, surprise package of the month, moment of the month and player of the month. So these aren't necessarily going to be awarded to players. It can be to teams, uh, you know, obviously moments. It can be you know, instances took place. It's not all individual awards. It can be to teams, managers, whoever. So let's get right into it with the goal of the month. For me, Charlie Daniels against Man City wins it. Uh, it was an absolutely stunning strike with his left foot when it came out to him on the sort of half volley, on the bounce. He just had to absolutely put his foot through it. And so not, so often you see those go into Rose Ed. Uh, for him to catch it as sweetly as he did against Man City as well, against Edison, obviously, you know, keeper with a lot of pedigree. Uh, it's such an acute angle, such a difficult place to shoot from, uh, outside the box as well. Absolutely stunning strike. Uh, and they probably did deserve at least a point from that game, Bournemouth. But that goal was just... <laughs> I think you'll do well to top that this season. The, the way he caught it so sweetly, especially for a defender as well, you just wouldn't expect that from him. I know he's capable, he scored some good goals uh, before, but this one in particular was an absolute screamer and quite comfortably goal of the month for me. Uh, on to flop. This one's a no-brainer for me. Arsene Wenger. Um, wow. I, I don't want to get into feeling sorry for Arsenal fans because I'm sure if it was Liverpool, they'd be laughing at us. And, you know, I'm sure what happened to us under Rodgers and towards the end of his tenure and, you know, obviously Hodgson and Dalglish when we were struggling in the league, they were hardly sympathetic towards us. There's a big rivalry on social media between Liverpool and Arsenal fans. You do kind of have to feel for them a little bit, though. Um, I kind of feel for Wenger, too. It's like he doesn't realise he knows his time's up. Some of the tactical decisions, I mean, obviously it was great as a Liverpool fan watching that 4-0 demolition that we handed out to them at the at Anfield, rather. But he didn't play Kolasinac, who's, I think he's just got player of the month for Arsenal. He didn't even feature in that game, but he somehow managed to win player of the month for them for August, having only played a couple of games. Uh, Lacazette didn't start. Um, he still, he still, for some reason, played Bellerin at left back. Obviously, Oxlade Chamberlain playing right wing back now has joined Liverpool. The team just weren't up for it. The team just aren't playing for him. Obviously, it's a bit like Leicester last season under Ranieri. The players just don't believe in their manager anymore. Um, Xhaka isn't my favourite player in the league, but he's a better player than this. As is Aaron Ramsey. They're just not concentrating. Alexis Sanchez isn't playing for the manager. Özil's just sort of floating in, in and out of games. He was anonymous at Anfield. Uh, it's one of the worst team performances I've seen from an opposition at Liverpool in many, many years. Uh, really embarrassing for a, for a club of Arsenal stature. They lost at Stoke as well, which came as no surprise. You know, they've gone there and lost on many an occasion in the last sort of 10 years under Wenger. Uh, and the win over Leicester was far from convincing. They conceded three goals. They had no centre-backs playing at one point. Um, the formation just isn't working. They just, you know, they just don't seem to be playing the players in the right positions. It's just all a big mess, so confusing. The fans are absolutely furious. I don't really know anyone now. Maybe 10% of their fan base is Wenger in, uh, whereas before it was kind of 50-50. Uh, his time is certainly up. Um, I feel for him, I kind of feel for the fans. But yeah, Arsene Wenger, comfortably flop of the month. He's just languishing above the relegation zone at the moment. Um, and obviously Arsenal fans will be hoping that situation can be resolved, whether that be Wenger sorting himself out, or he leaves and they bring in someone like Tuchel, or you know, I don't know who else is really available. I've seen Simeone sign a new deal at, at uh, Atletico Madrid. So options aren't in abundance for the Gunners. Let's see if Wenger can turn it around. Surprise package is going to go to a team. Um, a pretty predictable choice, I guess, but it's Huddersfield Town. Um, to go to Crystal Palace in your first ever Premier League game and go there and win 3-0. I know Palace aren't exactly in the best of form. Um, you know, you get to win this season too, but 3-0 there. Wow, that's just... Uh, that's a staggering result. Um, comfortable Munier in great form. Then they followed that up with a home win. So, you know, sometimes you see these teams come up and 
struggle to do well at home or sometimes you know only good at home or away but to be able to play on the counter attack as they did at Palace uh, and to be able to dominate at home against albeit Newcastle side who have been struggling but you know fair play two great wins there and then they held Southampton who are no mugs uh, to a goalless draw at home so they've uh, they're not conceding goals they're scoring pretty well they're sitting pretty in the, in the top four at the moment so I mean it's very early days but to get seven points on the board after three games when the target is kind of 38 to 40 points for a team like Huddersfield that those are crucial crucial points even at this early stage so third play to David Wagner play fair play to Huddersfield um, they're looking very very solid so far moment of the month it's kind of a it's kind of sort of a, a few minutes here but it stems from Raheem Sterling's win over Man City against Bournemouth uh, this will already feel like a huge, huge moment for Pep Guardiola. Um, this was a really exciting finish to a great game, a really high-paced, both sides wanting to play football, and Man City playing some glorious stuff uh, you know, in, at times during that game. And then the winner, it was a scrappy one, but that just made it even sweeter for Man City, um, you know, knowing that Man United had got off to a flying start, knowing that other sides have, have done pretty well. Liverpool, obviously, have got seven points in the first three games as well. So City wanting to kind of be among the pace setters, um, having dropped points against Everton, having dropped points at home, Kevin Carl Walker sent off. Uh, they only really scraped the point there. So if they were to go to Bournemouth and drop points, you know, questions may have been asked. Uh, but what a crucial, crucial goal for Raheem Sterling. Uh, and obviously the bedlam that followed, the celebrations, the fans, and then just the whole controversy around him getting sent off. Obviously, it's the letter of the law. I didn't really see him do a lot wrong. I mean, he didn't take his shirt off or anything. He just sort of ran in the direction of the away end, and then the fans spilled onto the pitch. I'm not really sure what Raheem could have done. Um, I shouldn't feel sorry for him as a Liverpool fan. He's not my favourite player in the world. But, you know, you've got to appreciate the guy scored a winning goal in the 97th minute or whatever it was uh, in an away game in the Premier League when, you know, you're, you're trying to keep at the top of the Premier League. It's obviously going to be a very tight title race this year. That really kept them right up there with the upper echelons of the table for him to be sent off for that obviously it's a letter of the law but it's harsh but that whole moment uh, Eddie Howe's head in his hands Bournemouth players devastated City players and fans jubilant then the red card that followed just just what the Premier League's all about really pure drama loads of talking points um, pure excitement loved it loved it player of the month now if you saw my Liverpool video you know that I picked you know a certain player there, a man who didn't win the actual Liverpool Player of the Month, Mo Salah has been announced as the Standard Chartered Player of the Month for August for Liverpool, uh, fair enough, he did well, but he wasn't my Player of the Month for Liverpool and he's not my Player of the Month for the Premier League, nor is Romelu Lukaku, despite getting off to a great start for United, obviously he missed a penalty against Leicester which doesn't help his cause here, uh, other notable guys, sort of Mkhitaryan's played very well, Pogba's been very good, but for me, it's the best player in the league so far, Sadio Mane. Most of you have probably seen my Liverpool video. If not, uh, you know how you should know how I feel about this guy. Anyway, he is just <laughs> a ridiculous footballer. Uh, I'm struggling to find any flaws in his game. I really, really am. Yes, he has the odd game where he drifts out a bit. Uh, but I, well, even when I think of last season when he wasn't at his best, he was still involved in the key moments. Uh, which sort of clinched wins for us. Uh, I seem to remember, I think Holloway, he was pretty poor when he just came back from the African Cup of Nations. I think he was involved in that one. There were maybe one or two others where he wasn't quite at his best. But on the whole, staggering. Staggering footballer. Three goals in three games. Just an absolute machine. He was good in the Champions League as well, but obviously I'm just talking about the Premier League here. Um, it's very close, obviously, between him and Lukaku and Mkhitaryan and Pogba and some of the United players have been outstanding. Sterling, good for Man City too. Um, Marcos Alonso, I guess, for his performance at, uh, at Wembley for, for Chelsea. Uh, Morata's done very well too early on for them. Sadio Mane is the best player in the league at the moment. He really is on absolute fire. I can't look past him. I think he might be the player of the season this year. If not for Liverpool, then for the PFA. So excited about him as a Liverpool fan. Those are my awards. If there's any more awards you want me to give out, do let me know in the comments. I'm happy to change this up a bit. I'm also going to try and, now that the transfer window is over, just give some opinions more often, sort of weekly on the Premier League. So if you want to see that sort of thing, let me know too. Obviously, I'm going to keep doing Liverpool stuff because that's how this channel sort of started. But I want to sort of branch out a little bit to get everyone else involved if you've sort of come to this channel from day trip or another series that I've done and you want to see some more general football opinions on the Champions League or even international football if you really really want it uh, preferably not but yeah 
Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Do leave a comment with your awards for all of these. Who do you think was the player of the month? Moments of the month, surprise, flop and goal. I've given you mine here. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.